Hey guys, Tony Rowe here doing something a little bit different and very exciting. I have the distinct honor and pleasure of introducing a new feature that the Lee Chess team has been working on. That feature being the Opening Explorer. If you've never used an Opening Explorer, I'll explain it in a second. Probably all will become very clear when I <laughs> click on this Opening Explorer book button here. But essentially what an Opening Explorer is, is a very convenient way to display statistical and performance information about a game database in a move-by-move move tree-like format. And so right away you can probably tell the, the general gist of what's happening here. In this case I have the starting position, and you can see that each move possible from this position is ranked by popularity, essentially number of games. So you can see that Fisher's favorite, 1E4, in this particular uh, database in use that's being explored, uh, 1E4 has been played over 5 million times, with white scoring 49%, black winning 47%, and the rest uh, being draws, shaded in gray here. And we could do this again for 1D4, for instance. Uh, almost 3 million games, white winning 50% of them, black winning 46, and 4% draws, of course. And you can play through openings just how you would expect you could using the analysis board. So after D4, we see all of black's responses. Almost a million games with D5, 52% per wins, wins, per, wins for white, 43% wins for black, and so on. You could do this ad nauseum, of course. We could go through, let's say I was really interested in the Catalan, a favorite of Kramnik, one of my favorite players. We could take a look, and we see that Black's most popular responses are D takes C4, Bishop E7, C6, C5, and so on. And again, we can see the number of games, uh, the win percentage, etc. Another cool thing about the Lee Chess Opening Explorer is that you can see the top games and the recent games. So top games are games that are played at a very high average rating, and recent games are games that have been played, well, recently. <laughs> um, and you don't just have the option of using, in this case, the Lee Chess database. You can also use a master's database. So as you can see here, the Masters database is composed of 2 million over-the-board games of relatively strong chess players from the 1950s to 2016. Going back to the Lee Chess database, you can see that in this case, because all of this information is easily available, on the Lee Chess servers, you can filter this database any way, you, any way you choose. So, for instance, I've been playing a lot of classical games lately. My rating is always sort of in this range. I might want to take a look at what the classical scene in the Catalan looks like on Lee Chess so I can do a little bit of preparation. I'd see that in this case, overwhelmingly popular would be C6, Bishop E7, and D takes C4. So maybe I want to pre prepare for those games specifically. Um, another cool thing is if you use the Masters database and you, you hover over, uh, it'll show you average rating, which is neat. And again, top games are possible. Uh, Oh, that's funny. Actually, I, I saw this game live. I went to the Singfield Cup, and Nakamura played Anand in one of the first rounds and won a very nice technical game in the Catalan. Small world. <laughs> um, uh, you can reach the the opening explorer in a couple different ways. So you can open up an analysis board from Tools Analysis and uh, just simply click on the opening explorer. You can also, which a, a lot of times might be a little bit more useful, is... Right after a game finishes, this would be the screen you saw after Black resigned in this case, and you could simply click on the analysis board directly from your game, and it loads your game as usual with computer analysis if you have it. I'll hide it for convenience sake, and then you, again, just click on this little book icon down here. And this is very powerful. I can go in real time right after I played through this game and analyze it uh, cross-referencing the opening moves with respect to the uh, Lee Chess Opening Explorer. So I can see that for a while my my opponent and I both played relatively uh, respectable uh, moves in the opening here, and then maybe Black 7th, this 7, Knight FD7, was not 
his best option. Out of maybe 300 games or so, Black only selected Knight FD7 in eight of them and didn't score particularly well. Half of the games, White won. A quarter of the games were drawn and a quarter Black won. So maybe if my opponent was using the Opening Explorer to analyze this game, he would he would know that from now on, maybe he should select something else in this specific position. And again, we can see top Grandmaster games in this case that, that were played in this variation. Uh, okay, another really amazing thing about this Opening Explorer, honestly, that I haven't seen anywhere else is uh, if we go back to the analysis board that you can select variants. So the opening explorer is not limited to just normal chess. You can see I've been getting into a little bit of crazy house lately <laughs> against my better judgment, honestly. And you can see that the, there's still a Lee chess database. And if we re-enable all of this stuff, crazy house is very popular in bullet and blitz. So I'd be losing a lot of information if I didn't select those. I can see crazy house opening exploration which i'm not sure i've honestly ever seen anywhere else uh, at least such a compendium of information so we can see overwhelmingly popular in crazy house is one e4 much more so than than in over the board chess and again yeah a more limited selection in crazy house in terms of popularity e5 e6 and knight f6 being sort of over overwhelmingly popular and uh, we can do this for any other variant. If, let's say, I was getting into Atomic. I've literally never played Atomic before in my life, but a, a funny thing about Atomic is you can see that uh, in this specific case, the opening theory differs significantly. And so if you're just getting into Atomic, it might be unbelievably helpful that that you have an opening explorer to look at to get a reasonable repertoire up and running quick. For instance... E4 and D4 are the fifth and sixth best moves in Atomic, and you can see that even specifically E4 has a losing record for white, which is which is uh, kind of, at least to me, surprising and unusual. So again, if you're intending to get into variants, this would be uh, a very powerful tool. And honestly, if you just intend to, to do opening research in general, the option of doing local engine analysis and opening exploration using a large and powerful database is what I do every day for my opening, my own opening research and my own chess improvement. And even uh, writing my book, this is the kind of stuff that I do every day. And now you have the power to do it online from anywhere uh, for free using Lee Chess, which, you know, I'm typically using something like Chess Base, or some of you guys out there might be using Skid to do opening exploration, and that's software that you need installed on your computer. And in the case of Chess Base, you have to pay for it. Uh, but now all of that stuff is available on Lee Chess and is available in an interface that's really convenient. You can do it right after your game while playing through your game uh, and so forth. So check out the Opening Explorer, guys. Use it, improve with it. Uh, it's awesome, and we hope you like it. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, you can send me a message uh, at Lee Chess at Tony Rowe, or you can pop into the Lee Chess IRC channel or the forums for suggestions, questions, etc. Bye, guys. Hope you like it.